latest style is just what the customers do not want. If you've been going around all your life with a terrible desire to look like Carol Lombard or Dorothy L'Amour, well, you don't have to sublimate. At Aries Beauty Salon on Potrero Hill in San Francisco, they specialize in the movie star look of the 30s, 40s, and 50s. From a photo on the wall, you can pick the movie star that you think exemplifies the real you. This lady's getting the Judy Garland look. That's quite a look you have there. Uh, why did you choose that particular one? Well, I'll tell you, Bob, I've always been an admirer of Judy Garland. And I'm just thrilled to wear her hairdo from a wonderful series. Now, what did, what did your hair, what was your hair like before you started coming here? Well, I called it the Marjorie Main hairdo. It was pulled back in a bun. I had gray streaks, and I looked about 90. Uh -huh. what, what do you think this accomplishes for you? Well, I think it's a very attractive hairdo. It's an easy hairdo to wear. And I think that, um, well, I just love it. Uh -huh. And everybody seems to like it. Harry, come here a minute. Do you get a lot of demand for these movie star uh, haircuts? Oh, yes, we have a lot of nostalgia uh, coming back into San Francisco, especially. So a lot of the ladies uh, come in and they may want maybe the John Crawford look or a Betty Davis look. And of course, we cannot change people's features, even with makeup. We can try to arrange a feeling of the same hairdo with their features. And of course, these movie stars were made up and co-fear about the best in the business, so why not try to bring back the past into the present? I asked uh, Harry if he could make me look like Clark Gable, and uh, he looked a little dubious about it. So I guess I'll just have to be satisfied with looking like Paul Newman. In San Francisco, Bob McKenzie for segment two. Tomorrow night is going to be a special. No, vamos todas las semanas.